Hi guys, welcome back with me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. Analyst gave her our insight, the suffering widens and guarded answer by Trevor Hanikord. Yes, U.S. forecast will defend Taiwan if it is invaded by China. Russian President Vladimir Putin is a butcher who cannot remain in power, and the COVID-19 pandemic is over. U.S. President Joe Biden's tendency to ad-lib in impromptu press situation is often referred to in Washington as his as his gift problem, while. The term refers to a blunder Biden's remarks often around quiet that they betray deeper truth about his thinking about his thinking and occasionally offer the public a better window into the administration approach than that offered by spokespeople from press secretary Kerry. Jim Peer to member of his cabinet. As Biden himself told steel workers this month, no one has ever doubted I mean what I say. The problem is I sometimes say all that I mean. Biden's casual and un unscri unscripted re remar remarks can cause for raising Diplomatic creep replus, forcing White House White House staff to scurry to walk back. To use another Washington term, his remark re remarks trying to smooth off our upset without saying outright that he mis misspoke. After Biden spoke on defending Taiwan in a SBS news. 60 minutes interview this month. Official quickly said the U.S. policy toward Taiwan is unchanged, but he has said similar things before as president. His apparent willingness to commit U.S. forecast to a battle in Taiwan clears clears up a long-standing disconnect in U.S. policy toward Taiwan. President have said since the 1970s that they support a one China policy that de declares Taiwan a part of China, but also that they are bound by a 1979 law to help Taiwan defend itself. Biden's response suggests the U.S. support one China in concept. But Taiwan's defense in practice. Walk back on Putin. His statement about Putin in Warsaw in March was quickly welcomed back by a White House official who said the pre who said the president's point was that Putin cannot be allowed to exercise, exercise power over his neighbors and not a uh, the this question of regime change. Whatever the White House says, it. Whatever the White House says, it is clear that the president's preferred view is that Putin is unfit for office, implying that he will use U.S. policy to weaken Putin whenever possible. The White House has long. Say that it would be driven by skins in determining when to end the COVID public health emergency. Biden made his "the pandemic is over" remark on the sidelines of September's Detroit auto show as hundreds of Americans continue to die of the disease daily. But they reflect change is the administration approach to the disease. A new vaccine campaign is being compared by U.S. officials to now full shot drivers and the control of for disease control and prevention 
relax its guidance that mask always be worn in hold hold care setting of forbidden swap. Okay, maybe that's all from me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel.